Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I will present what I've learned uh, by building a CLI tool in Golang. Uh, so uh, the, the task was actually uh, based on a real world application. So um, at work we have a lot of microservices. I believe it's over 100 now. And most of them um, have a uh, own uh, database, right? So we have a lot of uh, RDS instances in AWS. And a common task that you need to do, sometimes you touch a new microservice and you do some dev development testing. And at some point you just need to connect to the database uh, and do some queries, uh, see how it's going, etc. Uh, the problem is that to get the credentials that we store in AWS Secret Manager, you need to log into your AWS account, uh, click multiple buttons in uh, in the UI to get to the proper like secrets uh, folder, secret service. Then go to the uh, find your secret by name. Um, inside, it's a JSON uh, encoded uh, payload where you have multiple fields like host, user, password, etc. You, you need to grab that, go to your database tool. Uh, we usually use uh, just IntelliJ Ultimate, where you where you finally create a data source by copying multiple uh, fields. And uh, each time I need to do that, I just get so annoyed. Uh, so. I wanted to create a tool that will help me, and the idea that it will just get to uh, just implement two commands. One is list uh, all secrets for the database, and the second one is just get uh, the secret value, and it will uh, convert it to a proper GDBC URL. So I can just copy it and paste into uh, IntelliJ data source, and it will create the connection. Uh, and obviously, I could do that in Clojure, in Babashka, etc., pretty quickly. But I just want to learn a bit new things. And I was looking into Golang for a while, trying to do some small stuff in that. Uh, so why not? Um, what we're going to use today is I've done a bit of research about um, the ways you write CLI tools uh, in Golang. And there are multiple libraries, as usual. Like, And it's quite hard to tell what are the difference uh, for a beginner. I know there's like just a flags standard library, uh, which suitable for simple things like, like this, and I um, definitely could use it here. Uh, there's also Cobra, I think, and this Kong library. And I really kind of liked uh, the API of Kong. So that's the library I'm using. Uh, going down here to the main, the only thing I'm doing is you do Kong parse and then context run. And how this works, is you implement a function, uh, this run function for your commands. And this get command uh, is actually structs describing their command properties. So uh, the list one is actually empty, there are no options currently, uh, but this get command will uh, require a secret name. And then uh, for the CLI struct, you just describe it like this and there's like a hint for the for the help and you can actually get that for free when you when you run it so uh, i have it uh, compiled so ls secrets and if i just run help it uh, I, I haven't run, uh, written any uh, any code to, to show the help so it's like out of the box or of the of the of the tool which is quite nice and i can be more specific so for example if i do uh, list. It will show me the help for the list and obviously for the get as well. So the next thing uh, is we need um, a SDK for AWS uh, interactions and there's like a SDK Go version 2. Um, I'm using AWS config and the secret manager. Uh, they are all separate packages so you need to include all of those i'm not using um, like a real aws account uh, and uh, for local development uh, there is a tool called local stack which is quite handy it implements most of the aws services so you can um, test locally things like s3 dynamodb etc 
uh, and it worked quite nice for me. So you can just install it with Brew uh, if you are on Mac uh, Mac OS, uh, and then validate that it's running. So I have this local stack status, and you can see it's running in Docker, and I have some information how how uh, long it was running, etc. Um, to configure AWS CLI um, to actually point to local stack, the easy way to do that, I believe, is to add custom configuration to your AWS config. So the first file is um, .aws config, and you add a new profile there. And it says that output is JSON, and the endpoint uh, will actually point to our local stack, local deployment. And the next one is uh, credentials for, for this profile. Uh, I'm doing it like this. And after that, you can actually just um, interact with uh, with AWS, uh, actually a local stack, uh, by just specifying the uh, dash dash um, profile option, profile local stack. Uh, so here I have two secrets in my local stack. Um, to create uh, new secrets, I just use this command. Um, as you can see, I'm just putting a kind of like a JSON string inside. Uh, so I have two of those. And now let's see what we have in our Go CLI. So first one will be a list. And we create the secret manager first, a secret manager client. Uh, I'm loading the config and then here I point it to my local stack, uh, but that could be generic, like, you know, it, it can read uh, AWS key, uh, secret key if you want, instead of this. Uh, it's just like for the testing purposes. So once the client is created um, right here, we uh, using the list secrets um, function and the input is empty, basically. Um, and after that, I just want to present it in a nice way. And I found a really uh, handy library called Go Pretty, And it uh, has options to show tables or lists uh, of stuff. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, so to do that, you just create a table uh, writer and then append headers. For In my case, it will just have a name and IRN of a secret. And then uh, iterate over the secrets uh, and create new rows and just uh, to append it to to that mm, to the writer. Uh, finally, print line and render the uh, table writer. Uh, let me demonstrate how that works. So I have, as I said, compiled uh, binaries. So I'll do a list here, and I think I just have really huge font size for the um, video recording but yeah it's just like a nice table here with uh, two columns for the name and iron and the second one is uh, get uh, by the secret name it is right here and the nice way why we done this we actually get access to the command itself uh, so I can just use get secret name from it and it will parse the arguments for me. So I'm getting the secret value uh, from AWS and then I just decode uh, JSON into a struct and it looks like this. So have username, password, host and port. And finally, uh, the only thing I need is just to construct a GDBC URL because that's what I want and print it to the output. So if I do AWS uh, get and then Postgres DB secret one, run that, and I have my GDBC URL that I can just use in uh, to create data source. And the other useful hack is that you can actually pipe that into PB copy, and it will uh, automatically copy the output to the clipboard. So if I paste it here, as you can see. I just got the GDBC URL. So yeah, that was quite interesting experience um, writing a CLI tool and go. Um, 
wasn't too bad. Uh, I think I kind of enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see if I can use that in uh, my real day-to-day -day work and if it will uh, simplify my life. Um, we'll try my best to get used to it. All right, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, that was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed my first steps in Golang. See you next video. Bye-bye.